Hi, everyone. Welcome back. In this video, I'll give you an overview of Hadoop. You may recall from the previous video that when we analyze large data sets, we need to think about quite a few things. For example, we need to think about what software libraries to use, which programming languages to learn so that our programs and algorithms can run on multiple machines, and more generally, what framework to use. Hadoop is a very nice solution for all of those problems. Some of the materials and examples in this lesson come from the book Hadoop Definitive Guide. It's a very nice book that it provides a good overview of Hadoop and a number of related technologies in the Hadoop ecosystem, such as PIC and HBase, which we will cover in future videos. Hadoop is an open source software for scalable distributed computing. It's written in Java and has a number of components. And it's designed to scale to thousands of machines to offer linear scalability in the ideal case meaning if your computer cluster has 100 machines, your program would run 100 times as fast as when you have only one machine. Programs that run on Hadoop would use a simple programming model called MapReduce, which we will go through in more detail in the next video. A very nice feature of Hadoop is that its file system called HDFS provides automatic fault tolerance, meaning if a computer dies, you can just replace it, and you don't need to restart your computation. You should learn Hadoop because many Fortune 500 companies use it, as well as many research groups across the world. So it has very strong community support. It's also free and open sourced. And it's relatively cheap to set up. A Hadoop cluster can be built using commodity machines. This is in contrast to supercomputers that each may cost millions of dollars. And since Hadoop is so popular, it has become an essential skill, like SQL. A fun fact, in case you're wondering where the name Hadoop comes from, it's named after a toy elephant of Duck Cutting's son, and Duck was one of the Hadoop co-creators. So in today's video, we look at what Hadoop is, why you want to learn about it, and in the next video, we'll look at how you can write programs for Hadoop.